I got some new liners. I ordered the MyFit Mesmer liners. I bought them secondhand from a guy in America because I was looking for um, them intuition liners and he also had these for quite cheap. I am not entirely sure why I'm buying new liners because I already have a small collection of intuition liners but I would like to try out the new stuff because this is from the new lineup of the MyFit liners which are well could be said that quite improved from the compared to the previous lineup the previous liners that were around late 10s and early 2020s were much more softer everything was much more lighter and to be honest i didn't really like those liners the previous lineup from my fit because everything was like super light but very i don't know it just felt very lackluster and i tried a couple but none of them none of, none of those liners worked out for me and we got the new lineup and i noticed that the new lineup mostly has a new foam that is much more springy much more reactive also they didn't really care about the weight this time so they're much more supportive much more well they seem much more durable but weight wasn't really one of their concerns with this new lineup so i won't be um comparing these to premium liners because this is not a premium liner this is an entry level liner so it has a very very basic price um i'm not sure where should i start um i'm gonna start with the insole I'm not sure if you get this insole with the with the liner that you get from the power slice store or from the aftermarket part because this one is from the actual Jumbolino skate and there is an aftermarket Mesmer MyFit MyFit Mesmer V2 liner I'm not, I'm not sure if that comes with the insoles, if this is kind of your thing, to have an insole with custom graphics. It's the basic power slide, my fit insole, not much about it. I kind of like the Mesmer graphics, they are kind of weird, kind of cool, kind of punk, these hand-drawn hand drawn freaky stuff pretty cool i personally don't really use it and if i bought these skates i i'm not sure if i would use these or keep these as some kind of decoration because it's pretty cool but simple artwork but is if um this gives you some kind of cool feeling to have these graphics these drawings under your feet then go for it there's one more thing that I was thinking about. Um, I think I saw skateboard brands doing printed insoles, like photographic printed insoles. I'm not sure if this was done um, in withdrawal blading brands, but I saw, um, I definitely remember skateboarding brands um, doing printed insoles with someone's face or full body portrait on the insole and that is just so weird it's like the worst thing could be having having a custom photo printed toilet paper with someone's face on it because let's let's face it it's you're standing on this your feet your sweaty feet is rubbing on this and imagine if someone's photographic face or portrait is on the insole you're you're just standing on someone's face it's really freaky i hope 
I hope I don't really see that in royal grading. It's really weird. This was just a quick side note, quick tangent. Next up is the <clears throat> shock absorber. I like that you could whack through these on. I'm very appreciating that this is becoming an industry standard. At first, I really like these installs mostly because of the shape that it's longer. It gives you some extra arch support in this area. I mean, if you need it, there are some people who don't really need extra arch support. I personally kind of <clears throat> kind of like it. But I ended up not using this shock absorber because I bet you love that macro sound. It's too soft. To me, this is too soft. It truly, really, it is really making me unstable. And when I jump, I really need something that is not too hard. Not too squishy like this. I mean, this is very soft. And when I, while I was skating with these shock absorbers, because I tried this on other liners as well, I didn't like it. I was feeling very unstable and I missed a couple tricks. I just really like to miss very basic stuff. And I normally don't miss very basic stuff. Unless something something is wrong with me or with my gear. So this was too soft and even when I, I was rolling, turning, stopping, starting, pushing off, I felt that I lost um, balance a couple, well, a bunch of times and I realized it's because of this, this is just too soft. So the shape is great, but I really wish that this would come even, at a, even as an aftermarket part, I would definitely buy these separately with in different harnesses so I could control how much how much comfort how much shock absorption and how much responsiveness I want from my shock absorbers let's get into the meat of things which is the most important thing about the liner is the foam I tried this in a bunch of skates um I could be said and should be said these were made for the mesmer shells which are the throne shells i don't have a i don't really have a throne right now i only have my original one from the early 2000s but i'm i'm, I'm not going to use the throne but i tried this in aeons my carbons my gut, gutted carbons i think i put it in my fr ufrs um I'm going to I'm going to compare this to I think the MyFit Prime because I feel like um, this is very similar to the MyFit Prime. It's a bit it's half the price, but I would say you would get. I would even say this is a better liner than the MyFit Prime for a couple of reasons. One of the reasons is that you get the same tongue this is i think is exactly the same tongue same material as the one you get on the myfit primes the foam is not the same this one very similar thickness is somewhat similar but this one is a softer foam the myfit prime has a harder foam this one's a bit softer i don't I can actually um, show show it right now with the MyFit Primes because I sent those liners back because I wasn't really happy with them. I didn't want to keep a premium liner just to have it have it here and store it in a box for no reason. So overall, I would think this is a better liner for half the price, at least for me. This is just a subjective opinion. The MyFit Prime has a bunch of extras, a bunch of silicone dotting on the sole. I think it has it on the heel. This one doesn't have it. 
my biggest gripe with this liner is the mostly this area is not very well padded I my ions have the 45 degree straps and I was kind of feeling the shell and the um, anti rivets I'm just checking if it made a indentation or mark on the liner to show it oh yeah I see it but I'm not sure I'm not entirely sure this was it but either way I was I was um, kind of un uncomfortable with the liners and in mostly in this, this area I was really really feeling my hands the shell was really pressing really noticeable really uncomfortable in this area I'm not sure about this crease I think this really looks like a factory defect because these are new liners even though I bought them used the person didn't really use them who I bought it from Let's get into the size. So this one says it's a E forty five forty six US eleven twelve liner. I normally I from power slide I always get the forty six. Whatever it is, if it's power slide, I'm getting forty six two ninety five Mondo. This one says it's um two ninety six. But it feels shorter. It's not as short. It's not as not sized as the prime liners. The prime li liner runs way shorter. This one wasn't that short, but I still felt a. Pretty much, I could feel that my toe was pressing toward the neoprene here, and that really annoys me. I don't really like it. It wasn't that annoying with this liner as with the MyFit Primes, but I also don't really like this, this thing here, or some liners come like this way, it has a crease in the toe, like this, this indentation, it's very annoying, I noticed that with Rain V3 liners, and the my fifth prime has this too and I don't really understand why I would personally prefer if a size 46 liner was actually a size 46 and it wasn't a size 45 with the option to stretch to 46. This liner also has the, the some suede inner material this liner material and well i'm not really sure if i like it or if i like the silky smooth material much more um this one definitely um stops you from slipping your foot slipping inside of the skate but when your feet get so wet and your socks get soaked with wet, um with sweat i really feel like your socks get stuck to the suede material and then your feet will be slipping inside of your socks which is a very annoying feeling and i couldn't really skate like that so i need to switch out either the liner <clears throat> or i need to switch to dry socks immediately so just a few things that i think should be different about the liner i really wish um, my fit would use some kind of different um, lighter material for the sole
something like something durable that is also I mean if they want to use something this rigid I'm sure they could come up with some kind of um, they could find or develop some kind of material that is much lighter but has the same properties as this one the other thing I really wish it had a bit more bedding here in this area maybe these liners um, work very well with the mesmer or throne shells you guys let me know in the comments if you were skating these and how they feel mostly in, in this area on the side here So just a couple more thoughts about the shape of the foam. It doesn't really have a very anat anatomical shape that lets your um, ankle bone sit in here. It's, I wouldn't say it's flat. I would say it's thicker around this area here. And it's thinner around here, which is good for heel lock. I have one big gripe with this liner. Um, um, I don't think I could feel it, but it kind of annoys me. Maybe it's noticeable. Maybe it gets noticeable when you skate them. I could kind of feel it with my fingers. Um, there is a um, seam here, and I'm not too happy about it. I could kind of feel it with hand, and um, if I skate a lot. If I have my skates on for a couple hours, uh, uh, I could kind of feel this. I wouldn't say it's painful, but it, I just kind of know it is there. This seam. I wouldn't say it's hard. Or sticks out too much, but it's kind of noticeable. And probably this would be a better liner if that seam was not there. So I'm gonna call it a video. This was the MyFit Mesmer V2 liners. It's like a short review, somewhat like first impressions, but I don't really have to skate these four months to tell you what I think and what I thought, what I um, experienced. It's quite a decent entry level liner. Probably, it's probably not for me. I might going to be selling these soon. Or am I going to keep them because I like to have a liner in, in all my skates. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. See ya.